Howdy partners, welcome to another CMB Minecraft tutorial. Um, today we're going to be looking at some more advanced redstone stuff. Um, the old piston 7 segment displays plus decoder. Uh, as you can see we've got quite a lot going on here today. Um, so, it's going to be a two-parter I suspect. Um, firstly I'm going to show you how to build the actual display itself and then in the second part I'm going to go through decoders, specifically this one here, which is not the smallest, but probably the easiest to understand the kind of principles behind uh, decoders and displays. Um, so that's that. And then on the world save, um, as per usual, there's some variations of stuff that's uh, viable to use with seven segment displays, different decoders, as you can see, vertical decoders. Um, this little fella. Uh, which you can come and have a play with. That sounded wrong. Um, <laughs> um, and then, yeah, so like countdowns, uh, there's memory cell here, which I'm not going through in this tutorial, but it's going to be a tutorial very soon. Um, and also the old piston memory array, which is this thing that was counting uh, just a second ago. So, cool. Okay. Uh, so, we've got to start with this our kind of base for the display and it's six by nine uh, for this smaller display now over here obviously we've got the bigger display with the three blocks per segment um, I do like this display I used it in my clock uh, but I have to admit I think the smaller the smaller displays are the superior ones um, they're just more compact cleaner tighter and they're a lot easier to wire in at the back generally um, so we start with six by nine, um, and the first thing we've got to do is kind of cut out the shape. So obviously each segment. So we start with that one above from the edge, two there, two there, two there. I'm going to fly for this tutorial because it's so much easier. <laughs> um, same again, just up one and then that at the top. So we've got our eight there. Um, now I'm going to start by doing the indented display uh, like this one on the right here so this is how we start off with that now what you've got to do is get the pistons behind these gaps now and I find the best way to do that is to actually build a sort of small frame first so from this block here you want to build out three blocks and then you want to kind of fill in behind like a frame like so So we can put our pistons onto these, mount it on. So now if we come around the front, we can see that there's blocks behind that we can put pistons onto. Now, you get your sticky pistons and you whack them there. They are sticky pistons, not normal pistons. I've been told off for this. Um, so, uh, yeah, they're sticky pistons, not normal ones. Um, and you just fill them in like that. So now if you come back here, you can see that there's an eight shape of pistons behind each one. I'm sure you guys can understand that. And they're going to make up our segments. Uh, you can put your, your wool on top of these. So we'll already have an eight displaying by default once this is done. Like that. So now we've got like over there just the 8 displaying and that is our default in this one. You can change that but we're not going to in this tutorial. Um, so you can cut the corners off your little frame uh, that you don't need like that. So you've kind of got an 8 sort of stacked here with pistons sandwiched in the middle. Now you've got to get power to those pistons but obviously most importantly that power cannot get crossed or mixed up. Um, with any other segment otherwise you're not going to display the numbers correctly so use repeaters for this so for the middle sections you're just laying two repeaters behind the uh, sticky pistons and then you want to build out another one from that like that and then you just kind of link the repeaters up with redstone now to get these side ones slightly different, you've got to knock that block off every set, every set of two, 
like that all the way around and then you just want to put a repeater like that as well and that will power both of them and then build it out one again like so um let me just pick that up I'm so anal about that anyway you want to put your redstone here and as you're probably noticing we're getting cross talk from the other segment there so what you want to do is put redstone on uh, a wool block on top of the redstone so that it's cutting them off from each other and you've isolated every segment that's really important that that happens um otherwise yeah you're going to display wrong stuff so that's it that's the basic indented display done and now obviously what what you have to do is affect each segment back here so obviously if we wanted this segment to be pushed out you've got to get power into it and it won't display that segment so we've got an inverted nine there uh, so if we do it this side we'll actually have a nine so I'm sure you guys can start understanding how a decoder will work so when you flick the decoder line it's just going to power this segment if you want nine to display a bit like that um, so that's that's the real basic indented one and then if you wanted it um, so that it pushed out what you would have to do is actually just move this casing wall here that we started with back one and sit it flush with these blocks um, and then that will change what happens in the decoder slightly but I'm going to go through that um, in the second video right uh, so that's the display done hopefully you can follow that it's not really that hard um, pretty simple to do now I'm gonna make a second video I think because I just want to make sure that when I'm explaining the decoder I've got enough time uh, to make it as good as I can and explain it as clearly as I can um, so we're going to be using this display and I'm going to talk about how you get it into this decoder down here so that when you flip a switch it's going to display a different number and obviously the switch just signifies an input so it can come off much like down here it can come off a memory array like this so instead of you having to go down there and manually do the switch you can just press one button and it'll do something like this so this is a countdown um, and as you flip the switch, it's going to go down like that. Now, I'm not probably not going to do the memory in the next video, um, but I'm definitely going to do a tutorial on how to build this array um, because it's really important and it's used in loads uh, of different things. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to put a link for the second video uh, up now. So, coolio.